Hey, hey, it's Cal here, and um, today I'm with the Sequential team. Um, so we're in uh, over at Superbooth, and of course we've got here the Trigon 6, which is, um, well, alongside the, obviously the OBX8 desktop that we've got, this is the other uh, new product here for Superbooth. This hasn't been to Superbooth before. And this is really kind of following on from the, the notion of the, the Prophet 6, the OB6, and you can see from the format, you know, we have a 49 note uh, FATAR keybed, great feeling keybed. Um, and uh, alongside those kind of products as well, we've got a very similar kind of knob per function top panel here as well. But of course, you know, the Prophet 6, the OB6, they have their own flavor, they have their own sound, they've got individual uh, different filters. And the Trigon 6 is no different in that respect. This has a totally different filter structure to, than those two, and it's based around um, a ladder filter. So it's a polyphonic six note uh, uh, analog synthesizer with VCOs and VCF um, using um, a, a ladder filter. Um, and that gives us a really totally different flavor of sound. Um, but Alongside, you know, the filter, the difference in the filter there, we've got some very uh, 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 nice new kind of functions on the Trigon 6. In that, we have three oscillators as well. So, you know, again, on the other two, the OB6, the Prophet 6, we have the two filter, uh, two oscillator uh, um, architecture. Here, we've got three um, oscillators, so we've got a lot more opportunities here. We've got switching for the, um, for the uh, waveforms as well. The usual sort of controls, as I say, knob per function. Um, and just, yeah, we've got more things to play around with. So three oscillators, ladder filter, Really wonderful feedback uh, circuit design here as well. So we can take the oscillate at uh, the filter output, fold it back in on itself, and get some really nice gnarly kind of sounds with that. And then moving over here, we've got our modulation as well. So we've got our LFO, global LFO, but we've got lots and lots of destinations, and it's really easy to get to those places just with this simple switch down here. Uh, lots of different um, wave shapes, of course, to control and uh, modulate with. And then we come down to the polymod section, which is basically taking the third oscillator, so we can use oscillator three to modulate all of these destinations. And again, it can be one, or it can be a combination of any or all of them. Now, of course, this is a really big advantage um, for having three oscillators on the synthesizer, because now we can use polymod, but actually still keep hold of two oscillators for our core sound. So this is a really big, um, I would say, really big thing that we can do with the, uh, with the Trigon 6. The fact we've got this polymod attached to the third oscillator. Over here, again, we've got aftertouch as well. We've got an amount, positive and negative. And again, easy to select the destination that we want. And we've got some quite interesting destinations on here as well. We've got the amp destination, so we can use aftertouch to control the volume. But also, we've added in effects mix. And we can change uh, effects mix of A or B using the aftertouch. Um, and of course, you know, that's a really nice thing. So for example, we can start off with a big reverb, and as we use the pressure, we can actually remove the reverb by going for a negative amount. Really useful function there. Um, also, I should mention on the LFO, the amp is a destination as well here now. So we can do amplitude modulation as well uh, using the global LFO. So that's kind of the architecture of the synth that we've got. And over here, we've got um, access to a series of effects as well. So um, on effect slot A, we have nine different effects running through all the kind of chorus, phaser, bucket brigade delay, all that kind of stuff uh, through to flanges. And if we move to switch, uh, switch to uh, effects pro uh, processor B, we also add in, um, I think it's one, two, three, four reverbs as well, including a spring reverb. So again, we've got a lot, of, uh, a lot of nice control there. Moving down to this bit, we've got some really great sort of controls here. We've got um, a stereo analog distortion. Now this distortion, I have to say, sounds absolutely stunning. I'm a big fan of this distortion. And then of course, we've got the sequential vintage knob. And the vintage knob is basically kind of um, a retuning of the oscillators, of the filters, of the envelopes as well, just to dial in that lovely vintage sound. And again, you know, you've got, got the amount that you can dial in of that. So it's, um, it's not just kind of like a just detune the oscillators. Basically, it's a lot of kind of fine tuning into the oscillators and filters to get that kind of great old school sound. Moving on, we've got pan spread as well, so we can spread, we can push all the six voices out within the panoramic spectrum. Really lovely um, stuff to, to, to do. Um, and then a, a, a standard control for the program for your patches. 
um, we've got a huge amount of patches on here. We've got 500 uh, factory patches and then 500 user slots as well. So, you know, that's a thousand different patches on the hardware itself. And that means you can do a great deal of stuff. So, I mean, we've, um, we've gone through kind of the architecture of it. I think it's probably a good chance to, to have a listen to, uh, to, to some of it now. And for that, I may have to put the microphone down. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so I mean, I'm just going to choose and just dial in a patch. Of course, you've got your usual instant access to the preset. So, you know, nice kind of sound. I'll just quickly run through a few of them. We've got velocity, of course, on here. Nice unison patch there. Yeah, it's, it's good. To, no, it's okay. I can. Well, I'll be okay. I can. I can do a left-handed hold. I can still play with the right. But yeah, we've got the a lovely unison there. And in fact, I'll just show you a nice thing. If I go, I'm just going to go to a basic patch. So there we go. Just bring the cutoff down a little bit of envelope there. Uh, we'll get a bit more actually. Let's go. So a very basic sound. Let's bring in uh, that an octave below. Okay, and then if I go to unison, turn unison on. Okay, at the minute it's mono, but if I press and hold unison, I can just tap through and we can add all six voices into the unison. Or if I want, I can have three voices, but we can just tap through, get all six. So it just gives us a really nice big sound. And then of course, if I use the vintage control, you start to hear those little tuning discrepancies. So really big sound there. Now I'm going to put the mic down and just d demonstrate a little bit with the distortion and also the feedback as well, because I think this will be quite interesting. So I think that distortion is a really, really powerful edge to it as well. Now, um, let's just go back to a, a basic patch, and I'm just going to explore a bit of the, um, the filter feedback, because this is really fascinating. So once again, I'll just get a very basic sound together. Let's just go for that, just do a bit of detuning. Or well, maybe a bit too much detuning. Okay, so that's sounding good for me now. And I'm just going to use the feedback control and just have a listen to what that actually does to the sound as we get to just past the kind of the halfway point. You start to hear some really interesting subharmonics creep in. I mean, that's just an enormous, enormous sound. And I just think the tuning of that feedback circuit is just really lovely. Now, of course, on the filter as well, we've got basically a choice of two different filters. We've got a four pole and a two pole as well. And of course, they're analog, so they're totally self resonant. So let's just go back to, uh, let's take all the oscillators off, turn the resonance up, and if we have a listen now. So that's not tracking, let's just put tracking on. So that's basically just the cutoff, um, just self oscillating. We go to two pole and it still self oscillates at two pole. So if you want your pure sine wave, there it is. So very nice. Um, and again, if I start to use the uh, feedback control, I don't know what's going to happen, we'll find out. So it's basically tuning it, which is nice.
So there we go. Just a little patch from scratch there. But you get a flavor for kind of what the Trigon's all about. Really powerful analog poly, six voice, three oscillators. I didn't even do the poly mod. <laughs> Maybe I could just very quickly throw a little bit of poly mod in for good measure. Yeah, why not? I'll just quickly do that. So, um, yeah, so basically, there's our kind of core sound. And the third oscillator is on the polymod. And basically, polymod is like having a kind of a, a modulation source per voice. It's using the polyphonic uh, voices within the uh, Trigon 6 to be able to apply that to things. So if I maybe let's put that onto the filter, and I'll just turn up amount, an amount. So oscillator 3 is now going to be FMing the cutoff of the filter. <laughs> So just get that really, really lovely, f typical FM filter sound. And so if I want, you know, with this, I can detach it from the keyboard and I can turn it into low as well. So it's not running at au audio rates now, it's running at a low frequency. And now it's basically an LFO per voice that we have. So. And that's lovely. But if I go right up to the top speeds, I think it gets really interesting at this point, really FME. And I've, I've got to do the unison thing for that. So let's get all six voices on that sound. Yeah, there we go. Bit of vintage on there. There we go. We'll end off with a nice kind of power chord sound. But yeah, so that's the Trigon 6 uh, from Sequential. Fantastic sounding analog mono. Lots and lots of scope for sound sculpting. Based around a ladder filter. Um, Dave Smith's final synth design as well. This is, this is uh, I think, a bit of a passion project for Dave. Um, and it's just lovely to, to see it out here over at Superbooth. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank <laughs> you.